Hey guys, I hope you're all well. In this video, I'll show you how to change your end can or a muffler on your VFR 800X, F or similar bike. Three screws, as you can see, one on the top, two down below. Exact specs of the screws, I don't really know right now, but you will find out. The exhaust we're going for today is the Delkevic or Delkevich titanium end can, which is just the end part. Obviously, buffle out, of course. Pretty simple. Just unscrew. That specific screw had a nut behind, so I had to hold it. Those ones are easy. So, three screws out, and it's pretty simple operation, really. It's ready to go out. Many people are very scared of changing the end can. I don't really know why it's such a simple operation, as you will see here right now. Once the screws is out of the way, you're good to go. Just remove your exhaust. I'm gonna clean, you know, the base there before I put the exhaust with uh, Dr. Downpipe just to make sure it's gonna be clean because I will apply a thermal paste which you will see very soon. Now make sure when you buy a new exhaust that you also buy the appropriate link pipe which you will see which one is. I'll show you right now. You should always wear gloves when you do this type of things. In this video I don't and you shouldn't do it but I, I don't really know why. I guess I learned that way. So yeah, always wear your gloves. As you can see now it's going to be nice and clean as it should be so when we apply the thermal paste it's going to be smooth this is the link pipe i think there are only two sizes for the link pipes or the pipes you will find your appropriate one just check your you know manufacturer's um, manual or something so the link pipe is in place and now i'm going to add the muffler or the end can now it's really important when you do that just add them without the thermal paste and take a pen or a pencil, whatever is, you know, can actually work on stainless steel or titanium material and just mark it down to make sure that it will be straight because everything fits anyway, but it might not be straight. As you can see here, I'm going to attach even the ring and everything. And then I'm in the back, you can't see me right now, I'm checking if the exhaust stays straight and now I'm just mark it down so when I'm gonna remove it to add the thermal paste I know that this is my spots I'm just gonna align them and that's really it muffler out link pipe out most of the end cans or the exhaust comes with a paste um, in the box but I got an aftermarket one because, you know, I just like to put a lot. You don't have to put so much. But, and again, use gloves. Don't do it like me. Link pipe back to where it should be. Just make sure it's all the way in. No pun intended. And then we're going to put some thermal paste up there as well. By the way, you see my new tires, the Metaller Rotec O2, around 340 pounds for a pair. Great tires. I hope they're going to last as the bike is extremely heavy. End can or muffler or exhaust getting into place now. Do not forget, guys, to add the connectors because I, I put it before. You can't see it because I cut it. I put it before and I forgot the connectors out and then I had to remove the whole thing. This one, the one I'm moving right now. That's pretty much it. There you go. Just tighten enough. Do not screw it too much. Do not. When you're messing with screws, you should never screw it to the end. Like when once you feel resistance, stop. Because don't worry, it's not going to go anywhere. There is a nut behind it and it will keep it in place. So this is the exhaust. Really simple operation. I think anyone can do it, honestly. Oh, by the way, if you want to listen to the sound that it makes, just check my previous video. It should be there. Uh, it's pretty sweet, actually. Thank you very much and have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.